is uh, Nathan Birch here from beinvestor.com.au and today we're talking about landlord insurance and whether you should have that on your property and the answer is yes you should have landlords in insurance and uh, that is all you have a great day just joking uh, I think there's more that we should talk about from this side of things and it is very very important all of my properties every single property I own has got landlords insurance except for the property I live in um, but every property I own has got landlord's insurance and the reason being is that things can go wrong with your investing. I'm no financial advisor, I've got to watch what I say because you have to speak to someone that is qualified for insurance but I'm talking to you today from my own personal experience and things that I've witnessed out there personally myself uh, that have affected people in the marketplace and for me um, whilst I've got a large portfolio Nothing runs 100% smoothly. I've got the best property managers in place. I've got the, the, the best systems and procedures in place. However, things do go wrong sometimes with tenants, and it could be something simple as a tenant tripping over, a tenant getting their finger squashed in the door, losing part of their finger. It could be anything. And if you are left to public to liability from that sort of things, it can cost you hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars, to, uh, to help someone out from a compensation claim that they've had in your property. So very important to have landlords insurance as most policies do have like 10 or 20 million dollars worth of uh, public liability. So if something does go wrong, you are protected, you should be protected. So that's something to check with your insurance provider. Um, as from a perspective of a tenant absconding your property, very important to read the fine print of the landlord policy because Sometimes I'll only cap it at 10 weeks and if you've got an incompetent property manager like one that I've had recently that was in a in, out of state from here, which soon there'll be a Blink office there, Blink property office there. Um, this property was vacant for a very long period of time, like six months, and the tenant had absconded but wasn't paying rent and the agent was very slack. Um, what happened with that property is, is that I only got paid out 10 weeks because of that policy, 16 weeks worth of rent gone. So very important to have the right, uh, right insurance policies in place. Uh, from that, I use specialised insurance companies, which all my properties now are under the specialised insurance companies. I can't give names on YouTube and talk about it because I'm not an insurance broker. However, um, the, the companies that I use have a set uh, price for the annual uh, premium. Uh, which is around three hundred thirty dollars, three hundred fifty dollars for just a single policy. If you are, uh, if you want to put two and two together, think about the price I'm telling you. Think about the prices of quotes you get. But um, I, I pay three hundred thirty dollars because I've got multi policies, um, and it's a set fee. If you make a claim with one of the standard, like your house insurance or whoever, like without mentioning any of those three letter names or four letter names of the companies that are out there that, that do do insurance. Um, what happens if you've got a house, a car, all different policies with, a, with one insurer and you have a claim for a tenant because they're six weeks behind in rent, what happens is that your no claim, claim, no claim policy can be affected. So let's do some numbers here. Let's say you've got 10 properties and you pay, ex you pay premiums on 10 properties, 10 landlords uh, and two cars and your house that you live in, you're paying 10 grand a year in insurance. If you go and make a claim for your landlord insurance, because that's a common thing, like not every day a house burns down, not, a, not every day does the house get vandalised or does it get flooded or whatever, that's okay. If your property, if you have a ten, if you have lots of rental properties, there will be the occasion where a tenant will do something and you do need to make a claim. It'll be more regular than a claim for a natural disaster or whatever. Um, if you make a claim, all your premiums can go up. I have seen that happen, I've witnessed it happen, I've had it happen to myself in the early days. And it's important that you, you, you make sure you have your source structure from an insurance policy perspective to protect your backside. Um, personally myself, I have income protection, TBD, uh, life insurance, uh, properties are insured, I've got business insurance, everything that I have is insured because uh, I want to make sure that I'm protected at the greatest level. As you're building wealth and building a property portfolio, the more you have, the more you have it at risk, and it's important that you uh, you protect yourself accordingly. Um, 
I do use on every single property landlord protection insurance policy. I'm saying this to YouTube, say it to the public, I do use it, it's very important, don't leave your property without it. Uh, speak to someone that specialises in insurance and more specifically, speak to someone that specialises in landlord insurance only. So, thanks a lot for watching today and we'll catch up shortly. Thank you.